Hello and welcome to another Let's Go Retro. Uh, today we're playing what I'm thinking is going to be a kind of a short, easy game. Um, it is from my memory anyway. We're playing Super Mario Land on the Game Boy. I'll be playing it on the uh, Game Boy Player through the GameCube, so it's got some basic kind of color palettes. So instead of seeing it in shades of green, we're seeing it in uh, four shades that kind of make it look like a Mario game. They got the colors of Mario, as you can see here, pretty good, actually. I'm also sipping on some tea, if you can hear that. All right, so let's get started. This released in 1989 on the Game Boy. Uh, it was a launch title, but not a pack-in. Oh, oh, no, the mushroom. There we go. Okay. Controls are not quite the same as a traditional Super Mario Bros. game. They, they feel pretty good. They feel a little looser, a little... Um, I guess looser is the best way to describe it. You don't feel as, you know, quite as in control. I don't play this game uh, with as much confidence as I would a normal console Mario game, but... Uh, this was not um, made by the traditional Mario team. Ooh, one up. This was instead made by um, Gunpei Okoye's team, I believe. And these are... Not quite Koopa Troopas, they, their shells explode when you step on them. So they're kind of dangerous. This was originally intended to be a pack-in for the uh, Game Boy, until they were convinced to use Tetris instead. The team that made Super Mario Land... Get these guys. And Super Mario Land 2 would continue on to make uh, the Wario Land games, and eventually the WarioWare games. And this game feels like they were trying to go for a Mario game, except it feels a little weird. Mario Land 2 definitely is where you start feeling like they were going towards a Mario... Or, I'm sorry, a Wario-style game. Um, this one, it felt like they were really trying to stick to the formula as best they could, while still trying to, you know, give it their own little wackiness. Let's see if I can get that. There we go. These aren't fireballs, they're, I forget what they're called, like power balls or something. But they bounce around, you can only shoot one at a time, and they can pick up coins, unlike regular fireballs. And if we hit the top one here, top door leads to a bonus round. So if we can stock up on some extra lives. Alright. And we're off to an excellent start. Weird things here. It's the best way to describe Super Mario Land. Everything's just weird. Everything's kind of Mario, but not quite Mario. Um, but still a good game. We aren't in the Mushroom Kingdom, uh, we are in... Jeez, I'm gonna say it wrong. It's something like Sahasra Land or something. It's a really weird title. And we're trying to rescue Princess Daisy, not Princess Peach. And this time it's not Bowser, but Tatanga, an alien overlord that has captured Princess Daisy. Some people might say this is a Mario game that doesn't feel quite like a Mario game, but the thing is... You know, when it came out, it was 1989, and, um... Let me see if I can get this here... Oh, okay. And so this was, like, right after Super Mario Bros. 2, so there was really not too much of a precedent yet. I mean, this was more Mario than Mario Bros. 2 was, really. Um... You know, at least this one had the stuff you'd associate with Super Mario Bros. 1. Ooh, and we're in the boss level. So I can get this. 
ride this elevator up here, take a little shortcut. Nice. I think there's another elevator somewhere, but I do not remember where they are. It's kind of funny because those falling platforms are clearly, you know, discolored in this uh, palette. It's a lot harder to tell them apart in the when you're looking at black and white on the Game Boy. careful at all. <laughs> I was a little too hesitant. Uh, as you can see, it, it kind of um, does the same thing as, you know, the original Super Mario Bros. with Bowser. Um, you can hit him with fireballs. Oh my god. <laughs> you can hit him with fireballs, or you can run underneath of him. Try to run underneath of him, but man, I'm not doing too well. Let's try this again. This is embarrassing. All right. Oh my goodness. I really wish I had fireballs right about now. Oh man. Uh, I was like, oh, I'll just do this short, you know, game let's play, and I'll just breeze through this game. Oh god. Man. Oh man, okay, well, that was an embarrassment. First world is down. And then also reminiscent of the first Super Mario Bros. game, you open this up. Think you're gonna go rescue the princess? Only this time it's not a toad, but it actually looks like Princess Daisy. Turns out to be some weird monster in disguise. Mario just kind of like looking at it, watching it go, like, huh. Alright, more friends. Well, I could certainly use the guys.